Hey, what's up everybody? Monkey Puzzle here, and I've got another Icarus building showcase for you. This time we built it on the Avalanche Expedition, and this is what we made. It's affectionately called Puzzle Plaza Towers, or the Squish TIE Fighter, because it looks a little bit like a TIE Fighter, with the center ball kind of compressed vertically, and make what you want of the two wings. There was a bunch of other names for it too. But anyway, this was... The site and the build was voted on by the chat and by the members. We had eight people in here again. We are in the Riverlands, which is pretty much what you're confined to for this mission. And so we chose this waterfall here as the site for it. And the chat wanted it to be two towers with a bridge suspended in between. We were thinking something kind of like London Towers in the beginning, but it sort of evolved to this. What's cool is it's both collective and individual this time. The center bit here is a collective workstation with all the crafting stations and everything in it. Um, but the two high rises actually have four condos each. So we were able to have a little bit of individual space to call our own and personalize this time, which is something we have not had in the uh, previous expeditions. The build itself is a hybrid of concrete and stone and glass and wood. And so it's got that kind of modern and that medieval thing going on at the same time. I really like how it worked. We used the concrete as the foundation pieces and also to achieve the suspension in order to bridge this far and to build up this high, I had to do again these angled beams here like I did uh, in that desert canyon back in the waterfall expedition, they had to get in that close because before I had them, or when they were further out, the this part was collapsing as I was putting stuff uh, there, placing the roof pieces and the walls and stuff. And the same thing over here, you can see we've got concrete beams going up and down the sides. I did try those with stone beams uh, originally just for uh, cost, you know, to save a little bit on the steel rebar and the silica and everything. But we were crumbling at about this point there too. So the concrete was absolutely necessary in order to get the thing. But it's also nice how it's the contrast of how the stone is framed by it. Uh, you got the light colors and then the stone inset as some kind of, you know, paneling or facade, um, you know, texturing. And I like it a lot. I like the combo. We've got the glass windows. Uh, for the view up and down the river, which I'll show you when we get inside, you can see this side over here, you can see all the way down, and on the other side, you can see all the way up. You'll have to forgive my frame rate in this one, because we either found the limit of hosting with the number of building pieces you can do, because right now anybody who's hosting, and I'm hosting just myself, uh, their frame rate tanks. So it might be the size of the building, or maybe they just borked the uh, optimization of the hosting in the last update. Uh, and we all know that the game is not optimized as well as it could be. So I'm getting about 24 FPS right now. So <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, next time, maybe we should build a little bit less. Anyway, it's raining. I'm going to get inside, and then uh, we'll continue the tour. So I'm going to get on down here. So this is an active bear spawn. We got bears both below and above. So that was fun when we were building this. And of course, up here, we have absolutely devastated the local ecology. If this was a persistent map, we would have definitely gone further afield for harvesting trees and bushes and stuff. But you can see we have a nice open park-like field here now, <laughs> in which we can play sports and stuff. Um, bears like to spawn right there as well. But yeah, you can see it from this side. We'll come out here again when it's sunny. Got a little sign here that says Puzzle Plaza Towers. The sad thing about these signs is they lose the text every time the world gets reloaded. So that's unfortunate. Anyway, both sides have these foundation bits that are built onto the rocks. We've got a generator stashed up in this one that is just powering the uh, refrigerator. So yeah, the condos are up above, and down here we've got the group workplace 
so we've got all the storage again in the middle and then all the different workstations you know the basic uh, crafting station machining bench fabrication carpentry biofuel composter masonry bench cement mixer and on and on and on you can see we got the whole kitchen over here this is what the generator is powering actually let me i'll take those in a second i'm going to need to run to show you the other build that's here you can see on the map we have pretty much opened up all the available area of the riverlands and people were harvesting gathering far and wide to get enough metal and other resources silica and steel were particularly demanding for the build tons of silica for concrete and glass so yeah people worked really hard to make it all happen and we opened up the whole riverlands the mission was down here so there is a build about here that I'm going to get myself to and show you that was a forward operating base for the mission itself. But while we're here, let me go ahead and show you the condos. I wish it was a little sunnier so that the light could be beaming in the windows, but I'm going to move on. The sun does look like it's coming. You can see each one of these floors up this spiral staircase has the possibility for a little private space. So. It gave us an incentive to go ahead and learn the um, the interior pieces a bit. They're limited in how many there are, and they, you know, there aren't any real decorations per se. Um, but everybody claim one of these. Oop, I'm stuck on something here. There we go. Everybody claimed one of these and made it their own. I'm all the way up on the top floor this way. Just opening these up because I like the uh, texture. It was all named. People had their own signs. But, yeah, that gets lost. So that This person has a cabinet there. Everybody's gone, so I'm not going to worry about shutting the doors after myself here. So, you know, somewhat personalized as much as possible. We had to get a campfire in each one of these for people to uh, set their spawns because that's necessary for that. And then up here... Monkey Puzzle is my space, so I've got... I'm going to put this away so I don't catch my place on fire. The leather curtains, which I like a lot, the physics of them, as you go through, and they flap. And I made mine semi-open here so that it was sealed off, but still separate. And then in here, yeah, I've got my little RP, my chairs, and my noodle bowls, and then my little sleeping space with the campfire and such. I had leather curtains on here and they disappeared, but I've got them over here. These also are pretty cool physics when they open and close. I like those a lot. And then each one of the condos has its own private balcony. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And you could come out here and see a bit. Crackers was breaking the HOA rules here by uh, putting plants out on her deck. <laughs> We had a rule that you can customize the inside, but not the outside. But uh, here you can see some of her buildings sticking through the wall here. I don't know. We're going to have to report her for that violation. But I really like hanging out on my deck here and kind of zooming out. And uh, you can check out the whole thing uh, from this view as well. In fact, I'm going to snap this picture. Oh, and you can see the bear back there too. He's ready and waiting for us. Uh, yeah, that spawns there pretty regularly, so that was pretty fun. We got lots of uh, bear dance practice with that. But yeah, anyway, yeah, you can get a different view of the uh, workspace here. And then we had a lot of fun also just shooting each other off of our balconies, <laughs> doing a little, a little friendly fire. We were able to hit each other pretty well back and forth, so that was fun. Anyway, yeah, this is my space. Uh, there's roof access up here. And then I also found that... Let me put uh, this away. You can actually get away with doing the high dive down into the lake. And there's just enough water to not take any damage. <laughs> so anyway... Uh, yeah, that's that's mainly it for the towers. I wonder if I can still get up this. I can't. Uh, let me get around the other side. 
because I don't feel like repairing that right now. We were going to put a better ramp in, but uh, we never got around to it. The temporary ramp served us the whole time. Anyway, I'm going to get on over to the uh, FOB, the forward operating base, and then I'll meet you there. Not quite sure where that bear went. Oh, he crossed the river. All right. I'll see you guys down there. I'm going to have a bit of a journey. As I'm working my way down there, I can show you one new thing I tried over here in my zero slot is the stamina pace. I had not used these before. They're in the herbalism bench, and they give you a full minute of 100% uh, increased stamina regeneration. And so combined with the other stamina foods, you get a stamina bar that's nice and wide and fills back up pretty quickly. Oh, I need some more carrots. Yeah, there you go. You can see how wide it is and how fast it fills. So that's very helpful for making these longer journeys. Uh, combined with beer, which does something similar. No, I didn't get the beer effect. Huh. I wonder if you can't have both at the same time. Guess not. Okay. Now, stamina regen pace does run out, but it is still helpful for those moments when you're hitting zero. So I made it all the way down here from our base, which is up here. The mission itself, like I said, was in this area, opening up an avalanche to the Arctic. And just as you're coming through this little canyon corridor here, you can see just the top of it start to show here. And I'm going to get around the rest of the way, and I'll show you the whole thing. So this was built by a new patron and member of Iron Mine, longtime viewer, the Gaming Economist, which we've shortened to GCon. And he built this in stealth, actually. We didn't even know he was down here doing this while we were doing the rest of it. It looks like he had a nice cave right here. I'm sure he also used a bunch of the other caves in the area, but this is sort of a fancy stone hunting lodge with a watchtower. So, yeah, you got these stairs going all the way up here. And then in uh, first, we've got sort of the mudroom here. Where you can come in, and there's the armory, and there's other cupboards full of weapons and tools and armor. And then in here, you've got the main room, which is really nice. I like the ceiling with all the wooden braces, the beams, the way he did the pattern of them in the ceiling. And then, yeah, you got the center kitchen island and ice boxes and chess crafting stations, kitchen table, curtains, fireplace, everything. And in here, he had the generator and the biofuel, which are the two things we needed for the actual mission that we needed to craft ourselves. A little back door. He had a little garden he said he put in in honor of me with some uh, berry bushes back there, which is very cool. I didn't actually do any gardening here myself. I was going to put them on the top of the towers, but just never really got around to it and was kind of glad to be free of the timing responsibility of it this time. So, yeah, we when we did the mission, we set all our spawns here. We were able to sleep through the night and get a nice fresh start on the day. Again, I apologize for the frames today. And then up here, we have roof access. The whole place. Nice peak stone roof on it. And then let's go over to the tower. So you access that down here from the main room. This little side door. And this nice little walkway out to it here. And then you got to do another little spiral staircase up to the top of it. He said he didn't mean to do this much, but he got kind of carried away. Was having fun, which I understand completely. Uh, sort of the motto. <laughs> story of my life in games like this so yeah very nice little watchtower here 
got a lot of altitude. I guess buildings with with the vertical altitude with height is sort of the theme of this one, and a really good view of the whole rest of this canyon here, and you can check for bears, make sure you're not going to get ambushed, and yeah, the mission was down that way, opening up the avalanche of the snow. I'm not going to take you all the way down there, uh, but I did want to show you this. I like showing off all the builds in every one of the expeditions, not just mine, and this was definitely a worthy one, so... Uh, yeah, congrats to you, gaming economist. Very nice job. All right, I'm going to work my way back to the towers and say goodbye to you there. And that will be the end of the showcase. So I'm just going to make the journey one last time. And I'll see you guys there. And I made it back home. All right, guys. Well, that's what I have for you today. I'm just going to walk around it outside while it's still daylight and not storming. We'll check out on the other side because I think that's the uh, best view of it. And it's also where the sun is right now. But I've really been enjoying the number of builds that I get to do with this new session-based roguelite survival. Never would have built this many things if the world was persistent. So I'm really enjoying that part of it. And I am also really grateful for the crew that I've been playing with. And we've been getting a lot of new people coming in, too. The streams have been really popular. And I'm really grateful for the crew that's been supporting me, feeding me resources that allows me to do builds that are this grand. So definitely appreciating that as well. You all know I would do it myself either way, but this just makes it far more painless. And we were able to get it done much quicker, too. In general, the last few builds, we've been able to uh, get them done by day three of the mission, which was my second stream. So I only generally play two days of those. Um, so on day two of playtime, something like this can get completed. So definitely enjoying that. It's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. And then on these two, they tend to be a little washed out, but you can go in here and adjust the exposure a little bit, turn down the gamma, and that usually makes them look a little bit richer. If you wanted, you could uh, turn up the saturation just a wee bit. A little bit is better than a lot sometimes. Oops, and I just exited out of it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, so there it is. Puzzle Plaza Towers. The Squish TIE Fighter. There were some other names I don't remember right now. <laughs> but that's it. So I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite builds so far. I like it a lot. I would definitely enjoy playing in it. But uh, at this point, I don't know what we do. We have rifles. We can kill everything pretty easily. I would just want to build something somewhere else on the map. So we'll get to do that again. When I stream, I'm recording this before the Tuesday stream when I leave here. Uh, this will be up on Wednesday, but three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, you can catch the streams live. They usually happen sometime after noon Pacific time, so please come and join us for that. We're doing them live on my YouTube channel, this same channel, uh, not on Twitch or anything, but here on YouTube, so I can do them in 1440p. And if you want to join our Discord and play with us, the route to that is through my Patreon page. Sign up for the Tier 2 co-conspirator, and we'll get you into the Discord, and uh, we'll play as there's room. Of course, uh, we can only have eight people at a time, so we're kind of keeping a core crew and then cycling in new people as we go along. So anyway, uh, again, hope you all enjoyed it, and thank you for watching this showcase. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.